Greetings everybody, Nick DiVirgilio here, and today's video is on Meinl's polyphonic line of cymbals. These cymbals from Meinl are incredibly versatile. They're loud and brash, soft and quiet. Uh, you can get some really cool nuances depending on what kind of stick you're using. So let's get into the details of these cymbals right now. Meinl calls these cymbals multi-zone, and that's because you have a raw, unlathed bell, and then at the bottom of the bell, the lathing starts, the cymbal is thickest here and then gets thinner as you get down to the edge. So you get different sounds depending on where you hit the cymbal. All the cymbals are hand hammered. You can see some hammer marks on the ride cymbal, but the crashes do not have hammer marks on the bells. The rest of the cymbal is hand hammered. Let's go through the sound of these cymbals. I'm gonna start with the crashes. I have an 18 inch, a 19 inch, and a 20 inch crash. Snare wires are off so you can hear them alone. Check it out. What's really cool about these cymbals is that the initial attack is really fast and brash in a great musical way. It's gonna cut through any kind of music you're playing, any kind of style of music you're playing. But then that explosion goes away quickly and you have this nice, long, very pleasant decay. Nothing here is too bright. These are definitely dark cymbals, but even in their darkness, you can play these in rock music and all kinds of different loud music too. Now let's check out the tonal differences in these cymbals. I'm gonna start with the 18, and again, it's 18, 19, and 20. Here we go. To me, I definitely hear a pitch difference between all the cymbals. It's like bing, 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 high, medium, and low. Really beautiful sound. Now you can get some other great sounds with the bell and the bow and the rest of the cymbal as well. And these cymbals sound great with sticks with plastic tips. I'm gonna demonstrate even more with some other implements in a second, but if you get nylon tips on your stick, you're gonna get some great nuance out of these cymbals. Check it out. You can hear every stroke every time I hit the cymbal with the tip of the stick, of course, but then when I hit the bell with the shoulder of the stick, it really pops out and jumps out at you. And every crash cymbal here, no matter the size, reacts the exact same way. Now on to the ride cymbal. This is a 21-inch polyphonic ride. There's also a 22-inch ride if you want to check that out. But again, check out the nuance and how the cymbal reacts depending on where I'm hitting it. Here we go. Definitely want you to hear how it responds and how it lasts. That decay kind of, you hear the caw sound. That caw sound dissipates quickly. Then you hear this beautiful tone just kind of slowly dying away.
I find that really beautiful. And since the edge of this symbol is so thin compared to the rest of it, you can see it wobbling when it's slowly dying out. Check it out. <laughs> I think that's a neat effect. Super cool and very musical. Now, I just mentioned a second ago that there is a 22-inch ride, if you want to check that out. There's also a set of 15-inch hats that come in the polyphonic line and a 10-inch splash. I'm going to play these cymbals for you some more with some other implements, so you can definitely hear the musicality of these cymbals. But I want to mention all of the other great gear I'm using today in this video. I have this awesome Gretsch USA drum kit, 13 and 16-inch toms, 24-inch kick drum a Trick Titanium Snare Drum, it's a great drum here. Now, since I don't have the 15-inch set of hats from the Polyphonic line with me here today, I grabbed a set of 14-inch Byzance Extra Dry hats, which are awesome, and they complement the crashes and the ride beautifully. Obviously, these beautiful Minel cymbals, DW hardware all the way around, a 9,000 pedal. The microphones are awesome, Telefunken microphones, M80s and M81 on the snare and toms, an M82 in, the, in front of the kick drum. I have a Bayer Dynamic TG D71 on the inside, the boundary mic on the inside of the drum, Telefunken TF29s as overheads, the copper heads, and there's a Neumann FET 47 out in the room just to give a little ambience to the drum set sound. And last but not least is the microphone I'm talking through. There's a DPA headset. You can, that's how you're hearing my voice. Everything's going into a couple of UA Apollo X8Ps on into Pro Tools. And that's how you're hearing the sound of these beautiful cymbals. All right, now enough talking, some more playing. I did this a little bit at the top of the video, but let's do it again right now. These cymbals sound great with other implements. So I have regular wire brushes. I have some Vader acoustics. These are nylon on the outside with some wooden dowels on the center. Mallets. And then these great Vic Firth Remix brushes. Wood dowels on one side, kind of soft. Uh, it's almost like a broom brush on the back side. You get a great sound with these. Check out how all of these great accessories make these cymbals sound. Here we go.
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Meinl's polyphonic line of cymbals. The ones I have here are the 18, 19, and 20-inch crash, 21-inch polyphonic ride. Remember, there's a 22-inch ride, a set of 15-inch hats, and also a 10-inch splash if you want to check those out. These are fantastic, really musical cymbals. If you want any more information about these cymbals or any other Meinl product that we carry here at Sweetwater, make sure you talk to your Sweetwater sales engineer. I'm Nick DiVirgilio, and I'm going to play some more drums, and we'll see you next time.